Hi everybody, welcome back to DM Dad & Co. Tonight, we're gonna be finishing up the last part of the dungeon beneath the death house for the fifth edition adventure, Curse of Strahd. So we're gonna be doing areas 35, 36, 37, and 38. This build is gonna be pretty large for this video, so uh, it might be a little bit longer than usual, but it's totally gonna be worth it in the end. I got a few more tricks to show you guys and uh, some stuff for elevated walkways and platforms, things like that. Really hope you're gonna enjoy this. As usual, I am gonna be putting up a parts list with all the pieces that are going to be needed to make this final build, all right, broken down into the areas 35, 36, and then 37 and 38. Okay, so that's gonna go up right about now. So take a look at that. We are gonna be starting with area 35. Okay, and this is the area that you will, your players will first come down into after uh, going forth and exploring the first level of the dungeon. Okay, so those stairs that they come to at the end to descend into the lowest level of the dungeon where the real uh, interesting stuff with the cult begins is what we're gonna be starting with tonight, all right? So let's go ahead, get your pieces for area 35, and let's just dive right in and get started on that, all right? All right, guys, real simple for the first area. We have, uh, this is the stairway that leads up to area 30 or down from area 30 to this area, which is area 35. Um, this area here will be connecting to areas 36, okay? Uh, which we are gonna be making next. And then this here will open up into areas 37 and 38, which will be the final encounter in the dungeon beneath the death house for Curse of Strahd. All right, so now get everything you need together and let's uh, go ahead and start working on area 36, all right? All right, folks, so that is area 36. We have the secret door here in the center that actually leads into area 38 your characters can find with a successful investigation check. So that's over here. This is from the doors and arches set, by the way. And over here, we do have the portion of area 36 that leads back into area 35 or that leads to 36 from 35. Back here in this corner, your players can find a cultist, a dead cultist chained to the wall um, that he was put there because he disagreed with the cult's blind loyalty to Strahd. And uh, he has a, a few gold coins in there that your players can loot if they feel so inclined. But that is area 36, all right? So I'm gonna put that over to the side with area 35, and we're gonna get started on the final piece, which is area 37 and 38, all right? So get all the remainder of your pieces together, and let's get started. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, folks, there you have it. That is area 37 right here, the entrance to the uh, altar chamber where the cultists are chanting, preparing to make their final sacrifice, and area 38, the actual altar area itself. Um, now, I don't have a water mat or terrain tray to put underneath here, but here is all surrounded by water uh, in the module. And back here, you have the area where a shambling mound is actually residing and uh, something that the cultists are going to sacrifice if they don't end up being defeated by the characters or sacrificing the characters instead. Man, so once again, I did do uh, several things that I'm gonna go over with you guys um for to make this build such as the elevation and uh the tight corners i did go over some of the uh the things that i did for the tight corners in the previous video which i'll uh put a card up here uh so you guys check that out um but pretty much just offset these um slide that over here so you guys can get a better look Pretty much offset the walls here so that you could snug in a inside corner piece and fit right into there. They're not centered uh, the way that they are, I guess, meant to be. And you do leave that little gap at the end there to snug that in. Same thing here. This is not a, a corner piece. This is a wall that has been offset so you can fit this uh, inside curved piece there to make that little tight corners okay um as for the platforms in here you know to make the dais a little raised dais with steps you can just make several different size platforms uh squares and stack them up doesn't even have to necessarily be like that it can be you can change it if you want so that it's uh you know alternating and things like that it can be really however you want it you just have to take the tiles put a bigger one on the bottom, clip it together, and then size it down as you go out to create steps. You don't actually have to use stairs or steps or platforms or things like that for it. You can just do it this way instead if you don't really have uh, stairs or other types of platforms. As for the elevation stuff, all I did here is I actually used, um, these are, landings for the stairs and I took uh, these two stairs have the bottom piece I don't know if you guys know this but the platforms and the stairs and ladders sets are um, modular they can be rearranged clipped together in different sizes to uh, set any type of stair height that you can create. And I took the bottom piece of that and I put those on these long stairways and then just arranged it like so. And I only have the outside corners here and uh, the single shorter staircase platforms on this side. And I just built this with just the normal double-sided tiles, very flexible and just kind of laid them on top just like that to get the elevation I wanted. It's not crazy level, but it is sturdy enough to put minis on there. Let me show you guys that real quick. You know, you can still get all your minis on there, move them around. They're no problem. They're not really going anywhere. It's not going to fall. So you do have a little bit of stability for you with that type of elevation. And on the opposite side, I actually just used the wall for area 36 um, on top of putting some more corner pieces down here to hold this one in place for the elevation height for that one. And it does a pretty good job on this side um, holding that together. And then you just put the stairs like so, and you are ready to go. And that's it guys. That's everything. That is the final part for the dungeon beneath the death house for the fifth edition adventure, 
Curtis Estrad. I really hope you guys enjoyed these videos. I really, really enjoyed making them. Uh, I'm glad that I was finally able to give you guys some real tips in these last two videos for elevation, ascending platforms, and those tight corner areas. As always guys, if you got any value out of this video, if you enjoyed it at all, please don't forget to like and subscribe.